What's up guys? It's been a while since we made a video, but we thought we'd try to get back on, try to make some more videos for you guys. So today, we, I thought we would show you um, what sold this weekend for us. So we made 36 sales this week, this weekend. So Luke filled them on Saturday morning, so this is everything from Saturday, late Saturday morning to now. It's Monday morning at 9 o'clock. So let's get to filling the orders. I'm just gonna pull them and then we're gonna have Luke fill them. So first thing, uh, REI men's hoodie. And it's on 313. This is a REI men's hoodie. I think I got this at a Goodwill for probably five bucks and it sold for $24.99. We have a J. Joe linen blouse, number 18, 38. 1838. J. Joe size small linen blouse, sold for $12. I'm not sure where I got that. Next up, we have some Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. $17.99. I think I got these at a Goodwill for five bucks. They were on sale because we've had them for a while. Okay, next up some Levi's 513s. These Levi's jeans sold for $24.99 with them at Goodwill for about five bucks. Number 17 over four, I got this on Thursday at a garage sale for 50 cents and it sold for $12.99. Next up we have a Hurley's hoodie. Oops. $16.78. This is a Hurley's hoodie so it only sold for $9.99 but I got this at the Goodwill bins in Utah last summer and so I probably paid a buck for it so I'm just happy to get rid of it. Alright next up another item we are clearing out. This is a weatherproof vintage men's short sleeve shirt. It's number 1642. There. This sold for $4.99. Again, just happy to get rid of it. I'm pretty sure this was also a good little bins. Fine, so probably paid like 50 cents for that. Uh, next up, uh, I don't know how to say this brand. La Tigger, I think. Uh, I got this at Goodwill for less than five bucks and it sold for $17.99. Next up, I just listed these the other day. So these sold for $20. I paid about five bucks for them maybe four at Goodwill but sold super quick within like three days so that's awesome another one I also listed this just the other day this is a Bonobos dinosaur print shirt if you see it Bonobos with any of these like animal prints on them they're pretty good so this one sold for $22 um, it's also a men's 3XL, so that added value, and I got this at Goodwill for about five bucks. Next up, a bike, biking, oh, it's on the side. A biking jacket, uh, 875 So, I think originally I had this listed for about 50 bucks, but it was discounted and so it sold for $24.99. So still making profit there. I probably paid about it. All right, next up, this is one of our best sellers. We got all of this dog ointment for $4 at our Amazon bin store. And we've just been selling it three packs at a time. So it's on sale right now. It goes on and off being on sale, but Three packs sold for $10.79. Got a pair of pants, number 937. 
these are some Wolverine pants, new with the tag. They have the hammer loop. Um, I got these at a garage sale not that long ago for, I think, five. And they sold for $24.99. Next up, some Carhartt jeans, number 1145. 45. I got a ton of pairs of Carhartt jeans at a garage sale for five bucks each. This was one of those. They sold for $17.90. So I did send an offer on those, but happy to start selling some of those. 367. These sold for $20. And I'm pretty sure I got these at the Goodwill bins. So probably about two bucks for those and I can sold them for 20s. This is a pair of car pants. I got these at Goodwill the other day. They were only four bucks because they had a big rip in them. So I figured they'd be a quick flip and I sold them for 15 bucks within probably about a week. Next up, another item we are trying to clear out in 1830 or no. 1813. How many more you got? This is the last one. Oh. Last of clothing. Um, this is a JJ linen dress. I just relisted this because we had been sitting on it for a long time. And it sold for $21.24. And I'm pretty sure it came from a goodwill, so probably like five bucks. So a good sale. So that's all almost Wait. all our you have one other thing here in the garage to pull. Oh, here. Luke found this. Do they pay for this? Yeah. Oh, okay. 100 bucks. You want to tell them anything about it? Uh, I got it at a Goodwill for, I think, $10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Last Tuesday? Yeah. Today is Monday, so less than a week. Actually, only a day listed. Yeah, I listed it yesterday. Listed it yesterday. It sold yesterday for 100 bucks. Let's head downstairs to pull all the video games and other items that we sold. All right, we forgot one item that was in the garage. This is a Best Quick coffee maker. We got this on a pallet and Amazon items. What did you say, Best Quick? Espresso? Espresso. <laughs> but it's by Best Quick, right? No, it's purple. Oh, I don't know. Best Quick is chocolate milk, babe. I know, but I get confused. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we got this on a pallet. I don't know, maybe like we paid 10 bucks for it after you average it out. A long time ago. So we've been sitting on it for a while. Happy to see it go. It sold for $30. We sold these Hey Dude Patriotic shoes for $24.99. And we got these at a garage sale for I think eight bucks. And yeah, good sale on those. These black Ugg Chelsea men's leather boots. I got these at Goodwill. I want to say for like eight bucks. So, good sale on this. Alright, I'm going to pull all of our video game orders and hard goods that we sold, uh, which the majority of them are here in this closet. It's a little tight in here, so we're going to go in here with the GoPro. Most of the video games I'm going to pull are from a big lot that I paid $6.50 for and uh, we've made probably about half of that back so far. Okay, first up is actually uh, this Lego kit. Minecraft, which... Did we get this uh, discount? I think yeah. we were thinking about keeping it for ourselves and we just decided to sell it. So, had that listed for 15, sold for 13. M2, we have Legacy of the Wizard. I think this is an NES game. Yeah, sold for $5. And our old the guitar. Oh, a Bionicle is in G10, which is way up here. I actually, um, found this at a trash out so we got this for free 
and uh, cleaned him up. He is, I think, 100% complete from what I remember. Uh, yeah, complete, no manual. So sold him for $21.99. Jack X Combat Racing PS2 sold that for $9.99. Free shipping. Um, that inflator I was talking about was in here. I thought it was on the black shelf, but evidently not. This thing was, I think it was, yeah, I think it was new in the box, open box. Um, still had like the shrink wrap on it. Kiana, I think you bought these, didn't you? Uh, yeah, they paid $3 for those. Yeah, just last week, didn't we? Three bucks and sold those for $19.99 free shipping. T2 PSI Ops. On the original Xbox. OG. Nice little game from Midway. Sold for $14.99 free shipping. G6, this was a really good sell. Uh, it was for a leaf blower. We paid five bucks for the whole thing. Ended up throwing away the leaf blower. Uh, it was pretty junky, but the battery and charger still work. And these sold for $50 with shipping. Gran Turismo 2, which is now a movie. I actually just watched it on a flight the other day. Um, it was okay. <laughs> I'm kind of a movie snob, so. $10 plus shipping on top. Oh, um, T2, we had a sealed Xbox One game. So for $20 shipping on top. Let's see, I think that's number eight. Sold for $20 on the PlayStation 1. And is this the last one? Yes, the last one. M1 Half-Life. I think this is a PC game. And I don't, I think I may have gotten this at a uh, garage sale actually. We've had this one for a while. Yeah, it was that one out in Goddard. I think we paid like 50 cents for this. So that's all the part good stuff, video game stuff. Ken, I think you have one more, right? Oh yeah. Our final item. Yeah. All right, this was our best sale of the weekend. I got this at a garage sale for 10 bucks. It's a brand new with tags, Ralph, it always says Ralph Ralph Lauren. I don't know how you should say it, Ralph Lauren. Um, suit jacket and pants. And it's sold it for, for $200. Nice. So I had it listed for $250, but I took an offer, take the quick money. I only paid 10 bucks for it, so might as well give someone else a good deal too. So. 20X. Yeah. But that's everything. Let's fill these orders. <laughs> All right, so in total sales after eBay fees, we made $820 this weekend. Like I said at the beginning of the video, starting late Saturday morning to now Monday morning. So pretty good. That's before taxes. Um, but yeah, we are happy with our sales this week. So thank you guys for watching. We're hoping to make more videos for you guys, and we'll see you next time.